Someone mentioned to me this week that we had a lot to pray for, both in our community at faith and in the world at large, and that there were many people and many things in need of healing. I was reminded of how grateful I am and how grateful the church at large is for all of you who are so faithfully making phone calls each week and writing note cards and sending emails in order to keep the bonds of our community strong in this time of pandemic when we cannot be physically together. Thank you. I'm also reminded of my favorite healing story in the Bible, told in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. That's the story of the paralyzed man who's healed by Jesus. I'm sure you remember that story. Jesus is teaching and healing in Capernaum, and the house he is in, is ev the crowd is evidently so great that it overflows the house that he is in and fills the courtyard beyond. Four friends appear carrying one of their friends, the paralytic, on a mat. They recognize that there's no way that they can get into the house and put their friend before Jesus using any direct route. But the friends are not daunted. They come up with a creative solution. They climb onto the roof of the house, remove a portion of the roof, and lower their friend on a mat before where Jesus is standing in the house. Jesus is clearly impressed with this action. Each of the gospel accounts record that when Jesus saw their faith, he tells the man that his sins are forgiven. Their faith, his sins. A debate with the Pharisees ensues before Jesus heals the man and tells him to take up his mat and go home, which he does, glorifying God. The crowd stands amazed. Mark records that the crowd glorified God, saying, We've never seen anything like this. Luke records that they stand in awe, saying, We've seen strange things today. Certainly, they're referring to the miracle of healing performed by Jesus upon this man who could not walk and now can. But I wonder if part of this amazement is perhaps what Jesus himself was alluding to. Four friends who so cared for one another and so believed in Jesus that they would stop at nothing to bring their paralyzed friend before him. It's a beautiful vision of a caring community whose concern for one another is a part of the healing.